how to measure a compression spring. Put the spring vertically in between the calipers. We'll measure twice the OD each side. This particular spring measures 820 thousandths. From now we go and measure the free length of the spring. Free length on this particular spring is 1 inch 640 thousandths on the free length. Now we'll measure the wire diameter of the spring. This particular spring it measures 92 and a half thousandths. We'll measure it again to re-verify, 92 and a half thousandths, and once again measure it from the middle coils, 92 and a half thousandths. Now we're going to go ahead and count um, the number of coils. Very important, you start on the second wire size. The second wire size. Why? Because it's not a full coil until it makes a full 360 degree turn. This is why we start on the second coil. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Very important. Now we're going to look down the barrel of the spring to determine which hand of the spring is. You look down the barrel of the spring, you put the furthest leg away from you at high noon at 12 o'clock. Whichever way the, the, the back leg faces is which hand to spring it on. And it is. This particular case, it is a right hand spring because the spring, if it had a leg attached to it, is facing to the right and that makes it a right hand spring. Once again, the back leg needs to be at high noon and whichever way it faces is the hand of the spring. Sometimes your spring can have an eighth of a coil or three quarters of a coil, and to determine the exact measurement of your compression spring, we have designed this diagram to help you. Take your spring in your hand and make sure the last coil, the one furthest away from you, is at high noon or zero on the diagram. Because we want to determine the total number of coils in your spring. Now count starting at the second coil and count towards you. Remember to count all the coils including any quarter, half, or three quarter coils at the end of the spring. For this purpose we've created this diagram so you can determine the exact number of coils in your spring. For example, if my last coil ends at point .250 that means I have an extra quarter of a coil, which means the total number of coils plus a quarter coil. If my spring has 0.5, that means I have an extra half a coil. And if my spring has 0.75, that means I have 3 quarters of an extra coil. If your spring falls anywhere between these other points, see our diagram for further measurements. And this is how you correctly measure a compression spring.